Good morning, folks. The Earthquake Watch has hit. Mercury's conjoining the sun, triggering solar activity. We've got climate news and more, but we'll begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com because boy, oh boy, did we get a nice little reminder of what happens when the sun doesn't blast out eruptions for a while and builds up that energy. Top left, incoming sunspots, snap, crackle, pop. Solar flare and CME erupt from the incoming group, evacuating a tremendous portion of the solar corona, ejecting moons worth of material, with an arcade of magnetic fields restabilizing the region thereafter. When we come to Soho Lasco C3, we are watching Mercury come in on the left side, and just as he enters the 36-hour conjunction positions, the sun blasts away. While the bulk mass is easily going to miss Earth, and indeed all the planets of the solar system, you should be able to notice faint ripples traveling south and even back a bit to the right. This was a wide burst CME, which means that while it won't be anything to fear, we could actually see a small glancing blow from this plasma cloud as we get into the weekend. The solar flare itself was only moderately powerful in C-class range, more the long duration that produced such a big CME. Solar wind at Earth, we'd expected a stream, and after a small density rise out ahead of the faster particles, we did indeed see that brief spike in intensity. But it wasn't major. We did just get a low-level geomagnetic storm produced. That alert came through the disaster prediction app a few hours ago, but hey, weren't yesterday's alerts fun? The global high earthquake watch alert was sent, and 10 minutes later, the fun began, with a six-pointer deep in Fiji and another one in Peru. They don't count for the model because you need higher than magnitude 6 and significance. These guys were only one for four there, but alas, in terms of timing, you all knew we were peaking in the alert here midweek. Top climate news includes the destruction of thousands of years of ice data when a super freezer in Alberta that was supposed to keep these cores chilled and solid decided to take some bath salts and began pumping heat into the room and raising the temperature of the storage area over 100 degrees. Whoops. Also, folks, you'll be seeing the National Labs product discussed all over the internet in the next couple of days, discussing a computer model of less snowfall in the West. Problem is, they just set record snowfall across much of the West. The Sierra specifically has more snow now than in the last four years combined. And last but not least, not sure what kind of weather you woke up to this past weekend, but I'm pretty sure most of us were doing a bit better than record cold temperatures for a snowstorm. Bet hunting eggs was fun in that. In the coming two or three days, I hope to get website members another deeper look that will also go on QuakeWatch.net. It'll be about earthquake forecasting. And also to get another one of the presentation videos made from Observing the Frontier 2017. For right now, we've got pressure and radar forecasts, a global atmospheric run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again right here tomorrow. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.